Ah, Your Excellency. We were eagerly awaiting your arrival. Sister Eugenia was just recounting me the tale of your achievements and telling me about the incredible discoveries you've made. These relics shed a new light on the last years of our... It all demonstrates that he hadn't evangelized the islanders, but, on the contrary, he would even have adopted some of their rituals, merging the cult of the enlightened and the cult of nature in a single dogma. These discoveries, if they can be verified, are extraordinary. But they also represent a great upheaval that could harm our nation. We must first verify their authenticity. You are the only ones who entered this cave. Could what you have witnessed been a falsification? The cavern we discovered is located in a very remote place. There's no island or village nearby. It contains some ruined dwellings, but clearly no one has lived there for a very long time. Fraudsters would inevitably have left traces of their passage, and we have not found any. The entrance to the cave was protected by one of those giant creatures that the natives call a Nardike. These guardians usually protect sacred places and let no one enter without a fight. I had to kill this beast, which leads me to think that nobody had entered the cave for a very long time. We discovered ancient frescoes on the walls of the cave. They represent Saint Matthias without a doubt. He's depicted with his chaplet. In one, he is praying for the divinity of the island. In the other, his face was being painted by a native. I understand how shocking these discoveries are, but their antiquity proves that they are genuine. The tablets found at the site, however, attest that our founder had not abandoned the cult of the enlightened. He simply saw it as two different reflections of the same divine power. The relics could be authentic, Your Excellency, but we only have your word to convince us. The political and religious impact of these discoveries will be unprecedented. We risk schism, civil war, and who is to say that this is not a plan to weaken us? It seems that you only see the negative aspects of this discovery, but the reality is very different. By integrating some of the natives' beliefs into your dogma, you could build an alliance with them, something no other nation has managed to achieve before. What good is such a reproach if our nation has fallen into chaos? I would also like to inform you that a member of the Ordo Luminis was part of the expedition. He tried several times to sabotage it, even killing many of his colleagues for it. And finally, he attacked us, as we were preparing to join San Mateus. You'd have thought that the remaining members of the Order would go to such extremes. But I fear these attacks are just a reflection of what will happen if your discoveries are made public. Your Eminence, we are faced with a crucial choice for our nation. What does a man of faith do in such a dilemma? He prays and places his trust in the one who came before him and has shown more wisdom. Saint Matthias shows us a new way. If we are believers, can we really turn our backs on him? You surprise me, Petrus. You who are always so political, yet your words seem sincere. You give me something to think about. Thank you. If my people knew that the great sage they had long respected is the same man as your saint, and that your priests respected our culture as he did, they would be welcomed here as brothers. And the Eden we wanted to build would be everywhere. You speak sense, princess. Does anyone wish to add anything? I understand your doubts about the future, which are inevitably caused by such a revelation. You hesitate just as St. Lucius did to tell us about the journey of his master. Yet in the end, he revealed what he knew, and his words still guide to Leme today. Thank you for your testimony. I will now retire to think about everything and make my decision.
After careful consideration, I have decided that it is my duty to reveal your discoveries to the world. It will take years for our theologians to study all of this, but our dogma must follow the path opened by Saint Matthias. Thank you, Your Eminence. I would be delighted to help with the study of these relics. I don't doubt it, my dear. And I would like you to take me to see this cave. I look forward to worshipping at the place where our holy founder ended his days. As for you, Your Excellency, I thank you for the help you have given us. Your sincere insight has encouraged me to make this difficult decision. It was my pleasure. Let me also thank you, Your Excellency. Without you, we would still be in the shadows.
Have you considered my proposition? Very well. Let's go and discover what the governor would rather keep hidden from you. Excellent. How would you like to go about this? We must search her apartments in St. Matthias. They'll be guarded, of course. But if we are discreet, that shouldn't be a problem. This is taking quite a risk. The congregation's reputation could suffer if we're caught. And my cousin's position would be weakened. I know. But and if we want to be sure to pass without being known... That would improve our chances. What can I do for you, my child? What was your role at my uncle's court? No, to lay me. I tried to teach that you were so... I will see you... Take care, my... This area of the palace is forbidden to visitors, by order of the Mother Cardinal. We did not know. Please, excuse us. The basements are for servants only. Very well. We'll go back up.
Don't hesitate to have a rummage. Don't hesitate. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. This is a very unique place. The smell of stupor and vice reign as its masters. You're not wrong. We should search this place. Oh, for goodness sake. This room reeks of alcohol. And not just any old alcohol, if my nose does not deceive me. Cornelia always had great taste when it came to drinking. It seems that someone forgot their earring. Oh, here is an object of more than questionable taste. A woman from a good family would never wear it. It's junk. The kind of thing a courtesan would wear. I didn't know you were an expert on the subject, Father. The subject of jewelry? No, of courtesans. We are here at the heart of human depravity. Outrageous luxury, excessively priced alcohol, obvious debauchery. Surely this is enough to incriminate the Mother Cardinal. No, my child. These things are common in certain circles, even in Teleme, unfortunately. Cornelia may well have organized these things for others. These parties might be of use in gaining some political favor. We must find out who is involved and learn more. The earring that we found may help us with that. We could ask at the brothel if it belongs to a prostitute. We should continue searching. Perhaps we missed something. This document is highly important. By reading it carefully, you could learn a lot. The Mother Cardinal apparently borrows large amounts of money from a moneylender. Actually, enormous sums. What's more, she does so quite regularly. How does she manage to give it all back? Hmm. And the name Candy Cane crops up several times. Quite suspicious, don't you think? This 
sweet person must be doing her huge favors to get these sums. I think we have everything we need. There is probably a connection between these pleasure parties and the account books. Let's ask a few questions. The moneylender is well established. He can be found near the main square. As for this candy cane, the name doesn't ring any bells to me, but the moneylender must know more about him. We can also go and gather information at the coin tavern. Perhaps the manager knows him. So, have you found what you were looking for? Let's just say that I'm gathering information. My treasures are worth their price. I promise you that you will get your money's worth. For you, I'm sure we can make a special arrangement. Father, do you want to explain to this man why we are here? Of course. We are not here for your services, but to lead an investigation. Several clients of yours have made a complaint. Precious objects disappearing after your employees' visits. People in very high places are concerned, which explains why we've been asked to take care of it. This cannot be. I... Well, listen. Come in. But please be discreet. Thank you for your cooperation. Look, a 
a new face. Oh, but wouldn't that be... Hello, Father. I... Uh, oh, hello. Hmm. We would like to know if you know who this earring belongs to. Is it maybe yours? Absolutely not. I am careful not to leave my belongings with clients, and I have no desire to answer your questions. That doesn't fall within my services. Very well. Goodbye. There are too many of you for me alone, my little lambs. Sorry, madam, but we are here to ask other favors of you. This question might seem a little surprising, but do you know who this earring might belong to? Why? It's mine. I, I lost it when... How did you get hold of it? Are you sure you want to broach that subject here? You're right. Come with me. Well, what do you want? Why are you giving me back my earring? You know where we found it, don't you? Obviously. I realized as soon as I got back that I'd lost it. I imagine your pimp does not know that you take part in these parties. He doesn't dabble in this at all. No, do not say anything to him, I beg you. He's on my case enough as it is. Then I suggest you answer my questions. What would you like to know? Could you tell us who you saw at the parties? Rich people, or better. They seemed very rich and important to me. But I don't know them. Do you know who organizes these parties? Not really, no. A steward pays me when I go, but I don't see anyone else, apart from the clients. You can't even give me a single name? No. The only person who sometimes speaks to this steward is a woman who is always wearing a green coat. She never takes part in the festivities, but the steward rushes over whenever she arrives. Do you think that an important person from Teleme could have partaken in these soirees? You're thinking of Mother Cardinal, aren't you? You lot really think we are a bunch of degenerates. You're hardly a shining example of virtue, my child. Just answer our questions. Sorry, Father, I don't know the Mother Cardinal. But I strongly doubt she dabbles in that. You don't think you could recognize her, and you don't think you've crossed paths. <sighs> what a testimony. Admit it. You must know more than you're letting on. It's virtually impossible not to recognize someone while being so close to these influential people. Wouldn't you agree? Well... I was able to recognize someone, once. Even with a mask on, I'm good at recognizing my clients. Please continue. I'm all ears. I don't want to implicate anyone, but he is of no real importance, and you've probably never even heard of him. It's the local moneylender. I know very well who you're referring to, my dear. But I didn't mention anything to you, huh? This stays between us. I don't even remember the subject of this conversation anymore. This woman in the green coat, could you tell me about her? She always hides her face and never joins us. Then she disappears into a little office and locks the door. I see. She is quite important then. Do you know someone who goes by the name of Candy Cane? Everyone does. He is a powerful person, so his name makes the rounds. Have you ever spotted him at these... pleasure parties? In all honesty, I wouldn't even be able to recognize him. I've heard his name before, but that's all. Thank you for your help. Be sure not to mention this to anyone. I'd lose my clients if they suspected me of speaking about them, you know. Can I get you anything? I'm here for something else. Can I ask you a couple of questions? If you wish. What would you like to know? 
I am looking for a woman who comes here. She always wears a long green coat. Yes, I have seen this coat before, but I have no idea who is beneath it, if that's what you're asking. All I know is that I've seen her speaking to a regular, a steward of the palace who comes to place big orders. Always prime choice. What can you tell me about a certain candy cane? Candy cane? Everyone speaks about him, or has heard of him, but no one really knows him. And what do they say about him? Here, nothing. You need to go downstairs for that sort of thing. To the games room and the brothel? Yes, that's more the kind of place where they'd talk about him. I have to go. I will leave you to your work. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? I am looking for someone. A woman wearing a big green coat. Yeah, I know who you mean. She's a good client. She comes in especially for the big fights and she has prime information. Do you know where I can find her? No, I don't even know her name. She wouldn't happen to be coming back to collect some winnings, would she? No, and I can't really tell you when she'll show up next. I imagine that the name Candy Cane rings a bell. Obviously, even though I would prefer it wasn't the case. He's a sort of organizer. He captures most of the beasts who fight in the arena. How is that a problem? Apparently, he's fixed a few fights. These kind of rumors aren't good for my business. If that's the case, why don't you stop him? He has friends, protectors. Without solid evidence, no one will lift a finger. And the only ones who wanted to speak of his cartel have disappeared. Do you know where I could find him? He often hangs out around the port at night, but I strongly advise you to stay away from the guy. I know how to look after myself. Thanks for the information. I must be going. Next time. Can I help you? Yes, actually. I have a small favor to ask. You don't look like you need money from me. I'll get straight to the point. I have bad news for you. I know about the decadent parties at the palace. I know that you take part in them. What? But <laughs> what are you talking about? Stop acting all innocent. I have all the evidence I need to incriminate you. Although your reputation isn't spotless, there are others who have a lot more at stake than you. What if I were to spread it around town that you boast about being there? You know what happens when tongues wag too much. That's enough! All right, all right, I'll get the message. What do you want? Tell me about Candy Cane. We're not close, if that's what you want to know. I just know his name, like everyone else. I mean, there are some rumours. They say he does his business in the basement of the Coin Tavern. What kind of business? Oh, nothing to do with my line of business. He deals in arena fights, which are beyond me. It would appear that you know the Mother Cardinal very well. I know that she borrowed money from you. I even know how much. What I want to know is why. 
<laughs> I have no idea. Do you really think that my clients tell me everything about their lives? Does she still owe you money? No, she always pays me back on time, and with interest. Do you think she is plundering the city funds? Ha! <laughs> if that were the case, the funds would have been depleted long ago. Nah, the money's coming from elsewhere. I would advise you to keep all of this to yourself. <laughs> I, I don't want any trouble. I will be as silent as a stone. So, how do you see things, my child? I think that the usurer is lending money to the Cardinal, and very significant sums at that. With this money, she bets on the arena fights while hiding in a big green coat. And she also gives large amounts to a certain candy cane, known for fixing fights. Not only does our dear Cornelia love betting games, but she also wouldn't think twice about cheating to win. Maybe he is just giving her advice. How can we prove anything? We can always try asking him. Who knows? Perhaps he will give us an answer. later. Good evening. Are you the one they call Candy Cane? Who are you? De Sardé, legate of the Merchant Congregation. A legate, no less. I imagine in these cases, the one accompanying you is the famous Petrus. You seem to be very well informed. Therefore, you might be able to answer my question. What do you know about a woman in a green coat? Why would I tell you? We know that you have business with this woman and that she is actually the Mother Cardinal. How did you...? You would be better off forgetting that. That's not exactly the response I'd imagined. But nevertheless, seems rather eloquent. 
I told you to forget about it. Or you'll soon run into trouble. Legget or no Legget. Come on. It was just an innocent little conversation. Goodbye, Mr. Kane. Bye. And Godspeed. We have enough information. Really? Is the fact that she bets on fights that are potentially fixed enough for you? It's already a huge scandal. Let me just think about it for a little while. I will find a way of putting this information to good use. I have faith in you, Father. Excuse me, are you Cecilius, the famous healer? I am a healer only through the grace of the Illuminated. What can I do for you, my child? My cousin, the governor of New Serene, is in terrible pain. Well, that's terribly sad. Was he wounded in combat? Was it during the Coin Guard's rebellion? Alas, no. He is afflicted with the Malachor, and his days are numbered. We are looking for a cure, but... Now that's a true miracle that you require. And I fear that they're extremely rare in these pagan lands. Cecilius, my friend. If there's anyone on this island capable of helping the governor, it is you. Have you not been blessed by the Illuminated? Is it not your obligation to aid our allies? Without them, who knows what would have happened to our holy city during the plot? Petrus, you always knew how to weave words to get what you want. Very good. I'll go to New Serene and try to ease the governor's pain. But do not feed on vain hopes. There are trials that we must accept to undertake with humility. A thousand thanks, Cecilius. May the Illuminated go with you, my child. There is no miracle that he cannot accomplish. I will pray that you find this cure that we need so desperately. I have not lost hope. Cecilius is an extraordinary healer. I'm certain he'll be able to at least alleviate Constantine's pain. I do not know your magic very well. But if it's so powerful, why would you have to come here to look for an antidote? All I'm hoping for is that he'll manage to give my cousin some time. And some respite while we look for an antidote. Get out! Who do you think you are to defoil our ritual? One of those moin shakers, no doubt. Aiden, it is your duty to assure we are not interrupted. A thousand pardons, Tien. It is indeed one of those moin shakers. A moin shaker? Look at him more closely, Aiden. He is a normal Maui. Present yourself and tell me why you interrupt our ceremony. My name is Desarde. I have come looking for you to ask for your help. I greet you, Donegad. We are so sorry to have interrupted your ritual. But my friend truly needs your advice. Don't excuse yourself. Are you the daughter of Bladned? Are you not a Donegad as well? It is true. 
But my powers of healing are far less powerful than your own. And you travel with a mind shaker. Strange trio. I am Bishop Petrus, but I am not a mind shaker. A missionary. Why, pray tell, are you asking? There are people wearing the same insignia that pass their time troubling the minds of my people. Missionaries? I was not aware. I'm only here to accompany my friend, I assure you. He is not a bad man, Donegad, even if his beliefs are foreign and strange. Then, how can I help you? My cousin suffers from a terrible sickness, the Malakor. I do not know this sickness. But perhaps we call it by a different name. It turns the blood black and provokes terrible suffering. And alas, it is fatal in all cases. We've never seen the ailing touched by such a sickness. And I doubt I am able to heal your cousin. We are looking for a remedy, but urgently need to relieve his pain. Could you slow the progression of the sickness? Keep him from suffering? In that, I can help you. I know how to make one forget the pain, even the most severely wounded. But Tiern, with all that is happening now, you cannot leave to visit this ill person. It is true. My village needs me now. I cannot leave. I must attend them. What is going on? Perhaps we can help you. Truly? You? Do they have a choice, Aiden? They do really seem to have need of me, don't they? Well, then tell us what we need to do. The situation has become unbearable. And it all started when these Moin Shakers began arriving. They wanted to convert everyone and take them to another place, turn them away from us. And of course, the village folk would not be persuaded, but the Moin Shakers remained. And it was also at that time the Tenlen started to attack. It is not their way to do as such. There are many wounded, and recently many have gone missing. We must discover from where these monsters come. I can try and talk sense into the missionaries, perhaps with the help of Bishop Petrus. As for the attacks of the creatures, I will see what I can do. But I need more information. Our master hunter, or the families of the Taken, could most likely help you. Very well. I'll take care of it. Make preparations to accompany us. The days are burning like very thin candles. Do not worry. If you see to the concerns of my village, I will be most happy to accompany you. Let's go and see this master hunter. He should be able to tell us more about these attacks. Good day. Are you the Master Hunter? Beor tir to madren, I'd say. I am indeed one and the same person. What do you want of me? The Dornay Gad Katasach spoke to me about- The Ten Lands have been angered. The beasts have always lived here. Of late, they attack on sight. It may be that the Ten Lands killed them. What can you tell me about the Tenlands? They are normally very peaceful creatures. During the attacks, I noticed that they were not... What do you mean? That the other beasts don't come from here, but from other places. Were there many victims? Many wounded. But the attacks happen more and more. I try to chase them away. To destroy any nest. And now our children disappear. Can you tell me who they are? A young fisherman and a gatherer. I will go and see them. I must be going. I'm in need. I hear you. Isn't it odd that these creatures who are not... Yes. 
Yes. What do you know? Speak. I do not speak of things I am not. There are nags say, like you, do not under. I must be going. I'm in need. I hear. I believe I can help you in your fight against. You must destroy their nest. There are most likely three around. Me. I would have taken care of it, but more. I did not find the two others. And how would I go about destroying the nests? You must burn them. We see them especially at dawn. The night belongs to the Tenlands. That is when they are most awake. I thank you for your advice. Is there anything that we might be able to is destroying their nests. Do you know the art of crafting weapons? Our art. I can try to repair it. Here. In this condition. What do you know about the missionaries? The more they speak of light, of all that they want is for us. They want to make us renaixe. Their words do not touch. They follow them to their eat. Have you tried to fight them? No. I think if not for the attacks, but hope fled our village. It sounds as if the attacks began at a time. Look, I really need... I regret I cannot... I must be going. Katazak advised us to speak with the families of those missing. Perhaps they might know where the Tendons have built their nests. Here is your weapon. It is just like new. Thank you. You have given it back its purpose. It belonged to my master before me. It may be that you are more honored. During my walks, I saw a great turn of Koi. Felt that he... Why didn't you try to kill it? He is very... Sp I placed traps all around it, but all... You say he doesn't have his place here. That he was brought here. To it, but I cannot prove this. I must be going. Good day. I have been sent here by your Donegad. I he hope he is right and that you are not like them. It is for that very reason that I am here. And I will tell you what I know. Your sister, what does she look like? She is a very beautiful young woman. Is she very careful? Do oh, yes. She knows it very well. How long has she been missing? Two nights have gone by since, but she never returned. I Do you know where she usually goes picking? Certainly. Is there anyone in the village that might want her heart? No. No, everyone loves Why do you say that? She is beautiful and young. What do you think likely happened to her? She might have been attacked by the Tenlands. You think it might have been something else? I hope. Even if it is as they were pestering her the other day. But do you think that they might have captured her outside of the... I must leave now. Day. My name is Desarde. Yes, my little brother. He... Your Donegad asked me to help you. This is true. I hope you're. Can you describe your brother for me? He is young, rather tall. He is such a nice boy. Can you tell me more precisely when he did? It was two days past. I saw him leave. And you cannot remember anything out of the ordinary? No, he was full of joy. Did your brother have any enemy? No, I can't think of He didn't get along particularly well. Perhaps the missionaries. That could be a lead. 
Was he close? He has been dreamy and more joy, but he no longer wants to share. See, he told me that he has grown beyond the shadow. What do you think most likely happened? He could have come face to face with them, but he knew how to avoid them. He got into a fight with them a while back. You think the missionaries might have sought them? I don't know, but he... I will go and see. Maybe they can. <laughs> I must be leaving. Do you have any news? Not yet, but I have not given up the... Tell me about the Tenlands. Before, I only very rarely came across the beasts. But now, they are everywhere, and they attack. They've even been known to come as close as the clearing where we... Do you know how to fight them? No, I am not a fighter. Well, I will go and investigate. It is possible, because before they... I must leave. Given the presence of Tenlands in this clearing, there must be a nest not far from here. May the enlightened protect me in this battle! Your magic is running out! Take a potion! It is dawn. The ideal moment. I must be the dominant before the storm comes. Your magic is running out. Take the potion.
This is one of the three nests that I need to destroy. The protect me in this battle! The ideal moment. I must go to the Protect me in this battle! Found the Dara Grimeter and Dam!
shadow engulf our enemies. told me that I would find a nest in this area. Kill the dominant before destroying the nest. The third nest is destroyed. The Master Hunter will no doubt be relieved. basket full of berries and a trap full of fish, all of it scattered and half eaten by beasts. Our two lost souls were here together. They must have been attacked, or they wouldn't have left their takings. Let's search the area. Maybe we can find their trail. seems to be home to some creatures. Let's be wary. It could very well be the lair of that great tenon the hunter spoke of. to speak with you, my child. Yes, Petrus. What is it? I've come up with a plan to put what we've learned about the Mother Cardinal to use. Do tell. You will have to take part in a fight in the arena, and we must make sure that the odds are high. To do this, you'll have to face a champion. This will lure her in. That would effectively raise the odds, but the risk is they'll bet against me. That may be the case. But the highest bets are based on the exact time of the defeat. I see. We are going to make the Mother Cardinal believe that I will lose at a specific time. And by doing so, you'll win something bigger than a fight. This will make her lose a considerable amount. Exactly. I've even taken measures to make sure her usual moneylender is unavailable. Without knowing it, she will come to me looking for gold in order to place her bet. And she will be at our mercy. 
Is this how you settle scores in Telemi? This is how all scores are settled, my child. Or on the battlefield. But that's much dirtier. So, what do you say? It is certainly interesting. But I must see to other things before putting it in motion. I'll come back to you as soon as I have more time. Of course, my child. I will see you later. Take care. village. Their families need to be informed. I cannot believe that these missionaries used such a ruse to achieve their goals. Two youths died because of them. Now you understand why some of us fought against the Rinaixe. Their words are always sweet, but all they bring is death.
Good day. I am the legate of the Congregation of Merchants on this isle. Might I ask you a few questions? Of course. Our allies from the continent are always welcome among us. What do you want to know? Could you tell me what your mission... We must return these lost souls to... We have constructed the perfect village in this protected paradise. Have you heard about the Tenlin attacks on the village? I didn't know those creatures were given. We offered them our help. And In exchange for some inspiring... Of course. These to chase only a few away would... You haven't been victim of... On occasion, yes. You seem to assert that the attacks of these tenons, whereas these are creatures that the natives have always known. These are familiar beasts. These creatures have been riled up by the de sending them against these poor people. There is only one way to truly make these. The Donegad wishes your departure. And you expect us to obey him? To leave would be to abandon the simple. No, my child. We will. I fought against a great number of tenons. Its mere presence seemed to aggravate the others. Attract a beast sent by the demons, no doubt. Stop taking me for a fool. We also found a journal. I have only one piece of advice to give you. We shall be leaving as soon as possible. Perhaps you should be more concerned about your own son. Well, on all Manawi, have you... I found him, but... I'm truly sorry. Your brother is... A devotion, dearie. Maybe he knew every stone on our lands. He had a liaison with a young girl from the village. They would meet in a clear... They must have forgotten the hour. Night, I found both of them. In the cavern. How terrible. I must recover his body. With the body of the girl he loved, in a cavern, but it is a dangerous place. Other Tenlands... I have a duty owed to my little brother. I must be leaving. any news do you know where yes i'm truly very oh no no sir tonsida i found her body in the lair of a great tenman but how could she have been surprised by the beasts she, she went out to meet the young fisherman the time must i am so sorry we found them both dead i must bring her body back took her you should not go alone I killed as many as I could. I shall follow your counsel on Ol Manawi. I must leave now. The nests are destroyed. And with the death of the White Tenlin, the attacks should cease. We were even able to convince the missionaries to leave. Kadazak should be willing to follow us now. Let us go and find him. Indeed. I put the white Tenlin down, who was enraging his kind, and as the attacks should no longer be troubling you. As for the missionaries, we were able to convince them to leave, but they were not ready to admit their involvement in the attacks that harmed you. And so they were in some way responsible. 
I had my suspicions. They brought a particularly large beast here that attracted and... This is what provoked the attacks. In the end, we found the missing young ones. Alas, too late. Div and the worst tear ends. Will you accompany me now? My cousin... We have packed what is needed. me I can't control my body it's like being a stranger in a marionette set ablaze consumed by a smoldering fire the moment's growing near isn't it am I about to surrender my ghost to the reaper of souls <laughs> You flutter in just when you're needed, cousin. As always. Who, uh, who are you? Your hand is cold as ice. Your cousin is burning. That is such a relief. Let me present Katasak Konstantin. He is the greatest healer on the island. He will help you. Please, stay. I am here for you, Rnaxe, and I will not leave until I found a way to ease your pain and suffering. Fill your mind with the patience of the ocean. I know not how much time I will need. I've never seen such a sickness. The spirits of your lands must be quite horrendous to cast down such evils upon the peoples that live there. Thank you. The mage doctor of Teleme put on quite a show of light. Lovely. But it had no remedial effect. I give you my last ounce of hope. Thank you, cousin. I don't want to imagine my plight without your intervention. Are you ready to put up? It's a complicated plan, but in a f Let's go back to the Saint Matthias bookmaker. Your skills seem to interest him.
Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? I want to challenge the champion of the arena. A champion? Really? Now, you were asking about Candy Cane. It wouldn't be him that sent you here by any chance. No. No one has sent me. I'm looking to make a reputation for myself. Ah. That sounds better. It's true, you have talent, and the public does like you. Let me think. There is Briscard, one of our old champions. It's been a while since he fought, but he did ask me to set something up for him. He's not a youngster anymore, but his name is known. And he's a killer. I'm warning you. This Briscard sounds like the perfect opponent. A deal! I'll work on getting things ready for the combat and line up the betting. Until then, make sure you're ready. It'll be a duel. Your friends will need to stay in their seats. As soon as you're ready, you'll just need to go and see the arena master. We should go and see Candy Cane, so he can set up our deal. So when you win, she will lose her bet. Again, what? I have a very lucrative proposal for you. You know that I have to fight against a champion. Everyone knows you were expected to lose in one minute. I'm well aware of that. I know that my opponent is too strong for me, but let's suppose my opponent draws the fight out of it for the beauty of the battle, of course. I'm starting to see what you're alluding to. This fight don't interest me. The odds against you are so high, I wouldn't get much out of it. But if we make all the gamblers lose, by letting you hang in there a little longer... We could win a nice little nest egg. Organizing this will entail some costs for me. It's better to add a bonus. Without the bonus, there's no deal. If you pay me in advance, you won't be tempted to play any tricks. So, get your wallet out. If this seals our deal, it's worth it. Here, take it. Excellent. Don't you worry now. Everything will be fixed for the fight. I think that one of my special clients will also be interested in our little arrangement. Be careful not to tell too many people, so that the odds don't drop too low. 